Hey guys, it's Amanda at Hidden Hill Homestead. This is day one of our pallet chicken house project. We're going to see how much we can get done today. What we've done so far is we've taken three pallets that are 48 by 40 inches. And we've screwed them together here. Along there. The middles. Now we're cutting the legs. They're going to be two feet. And I will show you that part when we get the legs on. All right, continuing on here, uh, we've cut our holes in the end. Let's use a jigsaw or sawzall. Just uh, measure the outline. You know, have a helper hold your board up there and just measure the outline of the board of the uh, two by four and uh, then just drill a hole to get you a starting place and use your sawzall or your jigsaw to cut out the uh, same diameter as your two by fours and we're gonna take it slide it down in the hole and so that way it's butted up against that and then we're going to shoot uh, probably two or three screws. We're going to go with three screws, I think, and, uh, and go through here. We're already done with this one. Use a little bit longer screws here so I could go through all three three boards. But anyway, shoot your screws. And you have some uh, nice uh, stout legs there to hold your pin up. All right. Let's keep going. All right, at this point... We've flipped over what we've done here. We've flipped it over onto its uh, legs, and then we've put our plywood on here, and we've shot a screw about one every square foot. That's really kind of tighten it all together. Um, as you're going through here, you know, uh, mark your studs, try and uh, hit them as well, and not just the uh, one bys that are on top of the pallets. I uh, just used a little scrap piece here that I had. Uh, it's a little weathered, but it's still a good board. Uh, Save me another piece of plywood. Okay, guys, this is what we've done on the hen house so far. We put it on a skid so we could drag it over to the spot, and we've leveled it. We also painted it white. We're going to be building the walls next. All right, we've got the walls up. And we put the two by fours to brace it on the top. Like that. We left this end open. This is gonna op have doors that open up so I can clean out the chicken pen, or I may put the nest box down this end. I haven't decided yet. And then we left this spot open and that spot over there open. The rest of it's there'll be roosts that go across here. It's nice and early in the morning, but here's where we're at currently. All right, just a little bit about how I did the roof. Nothing special, I just took a little elevation for runoff. I stood a two by six up on the side. I ran a two by four under it, a drill two, and I've attached that. And then on the back, I've just got a few pieces of uh, two by four laid down flat. It's about four foot pieces that I came with up to the front. And I used five across there for support. All right. Then I used plywood obviously for the top now i didn't have any used plywood laying around my place everything was too weathered if i had had it in a storage building maybe i could have used several pieces to to do the roof but i had to buy new unfortunately all right what i've done on the roof here i had some old tar paper left over from when i redid the roof on our house so laid this out about three layers is what I had figured I'd use it somewhere and if, if you've got old tar paper that's set out in the sun and it's 
and it's starting to stick together on your on your tar lines. Um, I I had to use a putty knife as I was unrolling it and just patiently uh, get it to break loose. But yeah, I'm putting tin over this and just just an additional barrier for moisture. Probably not really necessary on a chicken house, but hey, if you've got it, it's better to use it than to let it go to waste, right? So anyway, that's where we're at. I'm going to continue on. I'm going to put some tin up here for the roof. Now, this is a great way to use some old tin. I've got some old tin here from previous buildings. As you can see, it's pretty tore up. But I only need about a five and a half uh, foot piece to go on the roof and give myself plenty of overhang on the front and the back. So I'm going to put it up there and then uh, run a chalk line across it. And just use a sawzall to cut a straight line across the front and the back once I've got it all attached. And I think it'll turn out, it'll turn out looking pretty nice. So, anyway, that's where we're at. Making progress. Alright, I'm ready to get started. Alright, I've got my tent up here. Probably wasn't necessary to put all the pieces up here, but I just kind of wanted to see where it'd line up. Uh, where these, How far these rusty spots uh, were going to overhang. Uh, you know, I did my best uh, right here. I'm going to overhang this about 8 inches. That's what I measured it out to be. And I'm going to try and stay as straight as I can across the front now. Uh, pushing any really uh, tore up portions on the end further out. Because uh, when I'm through, like I said, I'm going to come across here with a straight line. And just cut a nice smooth line across the front. But, you know, if you're going to... When you initially put it up there, you want to try and make it as straight and square as possible. Um, actually, add some decent nails to do the job using this. I get it to focus there. And these may be a type of tin nail. I just got a rubber gasket on there, but you know, just some older stuff. If you don't have something that has a gasket on it, you could just use regular roofer nails. Come back over here and. Uh, with some tar caulking and put on the head all of each of the nails to seal it up For extra protection. Um, I may go ahead and do that anyway, even with these Anyway, I'm gonna keep going here. All right kind of skipped a few steps on the video here But here's where we are. We've got it painted nice eggplant purple for the eggplant Okay, well I've cut the windows out here um, about 10 inches and I put this uh, wire on the inside and just stapled it and I uh, used one of my scrap pieces uh, to make this door here and nothing special just some some cheap little hinges and you can see if it's not too dark I did the uh, staples I used a little bit more of this wire in the upper areas to secure it so the chickens can uh, fly out or so and hopefully nothing can get in. I've got a little bit of a gap with my overhang back here that's not covered. But we'll see if anything tries to get in there. If not, I'll just leave it. So, here's the other side. Alright, the big door on the end Wind's catching it there. Anyway, I just had these small hinges, so I put four of them down it to hold the weight. All right, here is the finished product of our pallet hen house. We did the windows, we put trim around them, and we made these little shutters that come off. Just set them up on top. And we put hardware cloth over the windows. We got latches for our clean out door. The chickens have already been using it. A roost. It's really dark in here though, so you probably can't see. Nest boxes, feeder, 
their little door over there that they can come in and out. Down here is the door for the access to get the eggs. And we have one egg. That's a plastic one. Keep that one. And over here is the little door. It's come out of its track that it went. You can raise up and close at night time and their little ramp.